of plain Anchorman asking if I'm Ron Burgundy. I'm. We even wearing Burgundy yeah, today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, you should say I'm Eric Connor. I'm Eric Connor. <laughs> Who put a question mark on the prompter? Hey, can I tell you the teleprompter isn't always your friend, okay? But Barry and Jason have made reading scripts more challenging and fun, and they threw in a Sex Panther mechanical timer too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good morning to you guys. It's just getting interesting and yeah. interesting. Oh boy. What a, what a fun creation this had must have been for you guys poking a little fun at us uh, news anchors here. Uh, and we like to think we had something to do with this game seeing how we're in San Diego, correct? 100%. Yes. Absolutely. The classiest <laughs> city on the coast. Yes, the class classy indeed. All right guys, tell us about this game. Uh, how you play, and then we're going to have a little fun. Stella and I are going to read the prompter cold. By the way, I have the game, and here's the little Sex Panther timer. you got to include that in the game. We're, we're never too far from our own as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's your kitchen yeah. timer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the game comes from uh, us being huge fans of the movie, really, and the, the, the pivotal scene being when Ron Burgundy is sabotaged. His teleprompter is, is, is put to say something very inappropriate to the San Diegans, and, uh, and we just thought that that would lend itself to such a great gameplay. And yeah, and so the way you play is that you've got your, uh, you've got your board, you can play as Champ Kind or any of the, the anchors from the game. You have your news story that's missing parts of speech, and then you've got your magnetic words that you try and sabotage the stories with to try and make the other anchors laugh. Okay, so it's a it's a bit like Mad Libs, right? We've all we've the the, the paper version, but this one has a twist because you've got a. I was reading through the directions here. You've got to um, you've got to read with a straight face or not laugh. I mean, you've got to give them, you can't crack your seriousness, right? Okay, yeah. I mean, just just like you, you know, you guys, you're pros, yeah. you know. And so we want everyone to have that same experience. But let me ask you guys, how did you get this game approved? I, I'm, Anchorman, using the word Anchorman <laughs> is a big deal. All right, it's kind of a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of a big deal. Yeah, we were fortunate enough to have some, some good success with some of our previous games. And, uh, you know, the, the people at Paramount Pictures saw saw that. And, and I think they also saw our passion for Anchorman and for Ron Burgundy and knew that we could we kind of deliver the same level of comedy. And when we said Sex Panther Timer, mm. I think they just... <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, were, they had to go along with that. Um, okay, so if uh, the camera can come back on the burgundy, um, I'm showing you the, all the, the different words that you pick from the pile. Okay, these are all the magnetic words. Um, gentlemen, some of these we cannot use on, on our show, right? Because uh, this game is for 17 and older. But nonetheless, mm. I picked a few that we could use, threw it in a pile, and I uh, had Stella pick some, so we're gonna see how Stella does reading uh, her, her, her script cold here. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do All right, it. Stella, give us the news. And I gotta be serious, right? Yes, okay. you can't crack a smile. What do you got? Mm -hmm. Hey, dog pajamas, have you been waiting for the perfect toilet seat? Mm. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> lost! Come on, Hold she's on. a pro, guys! Well, oh, Channel, <laughs> Channel 4's expert is here after the break to show you how roughhousing hot pants can help you with your mayonnaise. <laughs> okay, that was, uh, well, that was, uh, that was educational. Thank you, Stella. A new law in Oregon will give teachers the ability to tender lovers to their beef shoes. This is in response to parental complaints that cuddling their own pimples has become a pain in the out-of-shape toddler. <laughs> Good job. What I do, guys? I do okay? <laughs> That was really good. Yeah. Okay. We want to, you want to do another one? Okay, let's do another one. Hold on, wait, well, let's check in with the referees. Okay. Are we doing this all right? Y yes, I mean, excellently. You've both kept your jobs so far. Okay, yeah. wait, one more. I got to do right. this. Okay, this is, okay. <laughs> Today, the San Diego Human Tacos defeated the L.A. Squeaky. <laughs> She's just not very good at this. No, I get the giggle yeah, so fast. Defeated the LA squeaky farts Ooh. by a score of 110 to 109. Ooh. It all came down to the final f French horn mm. when San Diego took control of boot scootin' fuzzy bubbies and won the bowel movement. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. go, you go. I okay, see. here we go. Yeah. Um, I'll follow that up with this. This weekend marks the 14th anniversary of mansplaining of the refrigerated poops. <laughs> Come out early and make sure to bring your jazz flute. <laughs> there we go. So some I of feel the like terms. yours were easier yes. than mine. <laughs> I just think you giggle easier than I do. Uh, uh, yeah, whoever gets the squeaky fart is usually really in trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got lucky. I got That's the jazz me. flute, which is kind of fun, actually, because on some of these magnetic strips, you guys have different verbiage 
in the uh, from the film, right? Yes, there are a lot of references uh, snuck in there. If you're a fan of the movie, then you're going to find a lot of little uh, Easter I am. eggs. <laughs> I love Lamp, that's for sure. Hey, um, you guys um, have competed on different game shows yourself, so yeah. this is kind of where the idea also stemmed from, right? Yeah, we've been on 10 game shows between us. Uh, I won the Showcase Showdown on The Price is Right. Ooh. Jason was on Jeopardy. Um, and we started hosting uh, our own game shows sort of live all over LA and, and around the country. And then from that started our first game, Game Night in the Can, and we just kept going. And timing is really good on this too, because a lot of families are gonna be you yes. know, staying at home here. The holidays, in fact, they're supposed to be staying at home and kind of doing these board games, which to be honest with you, a lot of the board games are that, board, you know, spelled differently. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is fun. This is something that the, you know, the family can get around and they can enjoy. And they can even do this uh, uh, virtually too with other family members. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can, you can you grab the game, play it over over the uh, Zoom or whatever your preferred way of video chatting is. I, I got to tell you, I, I'm totally getting this game because I think it's so much fun. I think that my my husband will get a kick out of it as well. And like you said, Eric, this is perfect timing for this, right? Yeah, good stuff. Uh, Barryandjason.com is where people can learn more and uh, learn more about the game. Where can they find it, guys? Uh, Target. Uh, oh. We are lucky enough to, to be in all, all stores of Target. Yeah. So, yeah, you can go get it there or at Target.com. That is awesome. Hey, congratulations on this, by the way. I mean, this is really, I mean, like I said, it's sort of a big deal, but this is huge. You were able to get this, this game out there. You had to, you know, jump through a lot of hurdles, but this is fun. Thank you for mansplaining about the game, gentlemen. <laughs> really appreciate it. Our pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for being here, Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. So, BarryAndJason.com to learn.